Ohio State continues to creep up the college football rankings, but do they deserve a spot in the Final Four? Hi everybody, Ray Crawford here with former Nebraska quarterback and 2001 Heisman Trophy winner Eric Crouch. So Eric, the question to you is, do the Buckeyes deserve a spot in that coveted Final Four? Well, I think a lot of that has to do with how the conference championship plays out. I just believe that Ohio State has done some very good things. I mean, just, just look at the resume, 23 conference, regular season wins. Uh, coach Urban Meyer doing a tremendous job there as a coach. They're really playing well. JT Barrett, their quarterback, not really knowing that he was going to play this year, stepping in for Braxton Miller and really growing. But Ohio State, is it going to be Minnesota? Is it going to be Wisconsin that they're going to be playing in that Big Ten championship? I believe, though, it's got to be a convincing win, Ray, because if they're not convincing enough, you got a TCU program, you got a Baylor program that's sitting there, and they're those types of teams that could probably jump into that college football playoff if it's not convincing enough because Ohio State has got to do that. They've got to show the country that they belong in that top four. They've got to be one of the best teams convincingly, and it's got to be a big win in that conference championship. Let's talk about a guy that you touched on uh, in JT Barrett, the quarterback, of course, at Ohio State. Really turned a lot of heads, 189 yards rushing against Minnesota a couple of weeks ago. Does he deserve a little bit more Heisman attention? Well, I think he does. I mean, look what he's done. His numbers are up there with Marcus Mariota. He scored a ton of touchdowns. He's got his team in some very, very big wins this year. And I think he surprised everyone. I think he's he surprised Heisman voters. If he is going to be considered for the Heisman, if they go after and, and win the, the Big Ten championship, is he going to take votes away possibly from a Melvin Gordon? And I think, you know, that's where that can get interesting. There's two big games left. He's got to play well, and he's got to do a good job. He's got to convince the voters that he belongs there, too, because that vote is going to be here before we know it. You being one of those voters, we, we might add. Uh, who do you like in the West, Minnesota or Wisconsin? Well, I like Minnesota. I've been a big supporter of Jerry Kill. I think that the program that he has done and built there, uh, coming in from Northern Illinois and keeping his staff together, uh, even after the health issues that we've seen him on the field have, the university has really supported him. I think the players are playing hard for him. I think they're doing things that a lot of teams would expect that with a, the talent level that they have, that they shouldn't really be able to do. So I believe that Minnesota is going to come out victorious against Wisconsin. I think that could be a, a, a good rematch for a Big Ten championship. Program on the rise for sure. Eric, thanks very much for the insight. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Is the Big Ten the right fit for Nebraska? Can they return to the glory days? Is Bo Pelini the right man for the job? Hear what Eric has to say here on CampusInsiders.com.